What's up y'all, it's Matt, and today's gonna be a 30 minute hip rotation focus class. We are gonna need two yoga blocks and two sticks or something to balance with for our hip cars. So because it's a shorter class today, only 30 minutes, we're only going to do the cars on the joints that we're gonna use in today's session. So we're gonna do lumbar spine, hips, knees, and ankles. We're gonna jump right in. Throughout this class, I will be talking about a radiation that is gonna be an effort from zero to 100%. So when I reference that, that's what I'm talking about. If I say 50, that's gonna be half of your maximum effort. If I say 100, I want you to go as hard as you can safely go. I'm gonna get onto all fours, and then I'm gonna drop onto the forearms. From here, I'm gonna push my forearms into the ground as much as I can, and I'm gonna drop my head and my hands. From here, I'm gonna round the rest of the back. So this should feel like a uh, cat cow, the cat position where I'm rounding. Okay, from here, I'm gonna hold the chest in this position, and then I'm gonna start by just articulating the lumbar spine. So I'm gonna push the hip back, I'm gonna drop the waistband forward as far as I can without letting it go into that upper back. If I'm pushing here, I drop the waistband, I suck the abs in, tuck and squeeze. That's one, we're gonna take 10 here. Drop the waistband down. Abs are staying sucked in towards the spine. And then I'm gonna slowly tuck the hips underneath, rounding that back. Now, if you're looking for a little extra intensity here, you can use the knees and the elbows. So if I'm gonna start by arching the back, I'm gonna push my elbows forward, my knees back, and that's gonna give me more traction to start driving into extension in the spine more intensely. Then I'm gonna pull my elbows and my knees towards each other like I'm wrinkling the floor. I'm gonna tuck that tailbone and squeeze. Let's call that five right there. We're gonna keep it going for five more. This is six, abs are tight. Seven, stick with it. Nice and controlled, eight. The goal is to feel that spine as best you can piece by piece. Nine, and one more. And that is 10, perfect. Lumbar spines nice and segmented. Now we're gonna go into hip cars. So for the hip car, we are gonna take this hip car from a kneeling position. So I'm gonna be on my knees. It might help if you get a pillow or some kind of pad to put under the knee if you are on a hardwood floor right now. You can also perform it standing if you'd prefer. So I'm gonna start right leg. I've got my two sticks, these are for balance. I'm gonna lift the knee as high as I can and then I'm gonna externally rotate, which would be like hitting a hacky sack or dribbling a soccer ball. From here, I'm gonna open out to the side. As I open out to the side, I'm gonna watch for the pelvis wanting to rotate. So I can see right about here, I'm fighting that rotation, that's the end. Then I'm gonna drop the foot slightly, rotating the leg. So now the inside of the knee faces the ground, the ankle comes up, and then I push the leg back and squeeze in towards standing leg, supporting hard through the right hand right now. Push back, open out to the side, rotate around, squeeze that hockey or that uh, hacky sack hit and set it down. That's one. We're gonna do three of these. Take a breath, drive into the sticks, lift off, get that hacky sack kick, open out like a door hinge, rotate with the leg high, push the leg behind us, squeeze the knee in while the foot stays wide. Push back, open out to the side. You should feel the side butt here. We rotate, finish in that hacky sack kick. That's two, one more, take a breath. <sighs> Externally rotate and lift through flexion. Open out to the side, door hinge. We get that rotation, keep it high. Squeeze the knee in, push back, rotate around through that external and set it down. Nice work. Now we're gonna go to the other leg. Keep in mind, one side might look different than the other. That is okay. I know my left hip is gonna be a little tighter than my right hip, so my circle might look slightly smaller. Abs are engaged, drive into the sticks. I'm gonna lift the knee, hacky sack kick. I'm gonna open out to the side, watching for that pelvis wanting to swivel. I'm gonna rotate the leg, keeping it as high as I can. I'm gonna push the leg behind us, squeeze the knee into supporting leg. I push back, open out to the side, we rotate, sweep around, and hacky sack kick or external rotation, set it down, take a breath. We roll again, external rotation and lift. Open out to the side, internal rotation, push the leg back, squeeze the knee in, open out to the side, external rotation, and sweep across. That's two, one more rep. 
external rotation, open out to the side, internal rotation, push back, squeeze the knee down, push back, open out to the side, circle around, external rotation, and rest. Perfect. We're gonna set the sticks down, now go into the knee. For a knee car, we're gonna grab a seat on the ground just like this. Now, if this is a little uncomfortable in the hips for you or getting down on the ground is hard, you can sit on a yoga block or you can use a chair nearby, okay? I'm gonna flex the foot up towards the shin and then I'm gonna focus on the lower portion of my leg doing the rotation here. So if I had a fin right off the shin, it should point external or away from midline and then internal or towards midline. Now, a lot of people when they do these, will find the movement from their ankle. I like to pull this foot up tight and focus on pivoting on the heel bone so that I can feel it in the knee. I'm gonna do two more to each side. I want you to squeeze into that internal, whatever you're using to get there, squeeze it. Then slowly rotate into that external, squeeze. One more to each, internal, squeeze, external, and squeeze. Awesome, Let me do the other side now. Same thing here, we're gonna flex that foot. We're gonna focus on pivoting off the heel on the ground. And then if I had that magic uh, fin poking off the front of the shin, I'm gonna rotate out to that external, feel the tightness on the outside. Then as I transition, I'm gonna pull myself into internal, trying to use the inside of the knee. Good, rotating to that external squeeze, rotating to the internal. Good, we're gonna roll through just a couple more of these, let's say three each side. Again, keeping that foot flexed, pivoting right off the heel, making that movement happen here at the knee joint. One more, squeezing out to that external, squeezing to the internal, and pause. Awesome. Now we're gonna do the ankle. The ankle will grab a seat on the ground, and we're gonna prop the foot up. So the foot's up, elevated off. I'm gonna lock the knee out, and I'm gonna imagine trying to draw just the biggest circle I can with my big toe. So I'm gonna pull towards the midline, I'm gonna gas pedal, push my foot forward. I'm gonna sweep along the bottom side, over to the pinky edge side, pull the big toe towards the shin. We're gonna do three in each direction. Heading back to that big toe, pushing around, really trying to feel that ankle working and get acquainted with how the joint is functioning. Some days might be better than others. That's why we like to do them check-in every single day. The beautiful thing about cars is it also brings more synovial fluid to the joint which is essentially like WD-40 for the joint. It's the, it's the fluid in there that allows it to move without friction or little friction. We're gonna reverse directions now. Over to the pinky edge side, push through gas pedal, sweep across, pull up towards that shin and circle on that's one. I'm almost getting a foot cramp on these. I obviously need to do my ankle cars more. Lock those knees out, sweeping through big circle. Try and get this last one, the biggest one you've done. Big circle, pinching that outside of the ankle. I push down, squeezing through the back of the calf. As I pull in, inner arch and inner foot, and then pulling up. Awesome. Now we're heading into the other leg. So we kind of know what we're, what we're headed for now. The goal is to push a little more than you did last time. I'm locking the knee out. I'm gonna pull the big toe towards the shin. We're gonna start to the pinky edge side. So we're gonna go out to the pinky edge side. You should feel a almost like a little squeezing sensation on the outside of the ankle bone. I'm gonna push the foot down in a way like I'm gas pedaling it, flooring it, sweeping around to my big toe, pull up towards my shin, that's one. Keep it going out to the pinky edge side, gas pedal pushing down, sweep across, pull the big toe up, one more. Keep that knee locked, don't let the leg rotate. Over to the pinky edge side, gas pedal, sweep across, Pull the big toe towards you, and that is three. Let's reverse. Over to the big toe side, gas pedal, sweep through midline, pull up towards the pinky. Let's continue on. Over to the big toe, pushing through center, circling to the right side, pulling toe up. Last one, over to the big toe, biggest circle we can get, gas pedal, sweep across, pull towards the shin, and rest. Awesome. Now we're gonna head into pails and rails. So we're gonna look to expand the hip capsule space. That's what pails and rails does. So we're gonna start in a seated position and this is called a bear sit. So I'm gonna pull the knees back and as wide as I can, okay? So the goal here from this position is I'm gonna flex my feet. As I corkscrew the leg in, 
the femur should come directly out of the hip socket. Now, I don't wanna rotate off the block. I wanna keep both sit bones on the ground. So depending on how mobile your hips are, you can sit directly on the ground. You can do one block or you could even do two blocks. Just depends on where your hips are at today. And so I'm right here. We're gonna start with five corkscrews, both hips at once. So I'm gonna flex my, or capsule cars, corkscrews, same thing. Big toes pulling up towards the shin, nice and wide, proud chest. Then we're gonna squeeze both knees in together. This is also a good check to make sure we've got the setup correct. If the knees run into each other, widen your legs. Squeeze in, slow, squeeze out. Try and push as wide as you can. You're gonna feel the outside of the glutes really squeezing on those. Good, slowly pull yourself in using the inner thighs to get there. Push down as far as you can. Once you think you've finished that rep, another 5% effort. Good, working out and squeezing. So talking about intensity here, I'm at about 50 to 70% irradiation. So that's about how much tension I'm trying to drive through this move. Squeezing in, it's more like 70 to 80 for me right there. Opening out, good, we've got two more. Corkscrewing in, squeezing. So this is the internal rotation part right here. Squeeze it, ooh, that is, that is deep in those hip sockets. And you should be feeling it running all along the bottom side here. So from kind of like the groin, underneath. we got one more. Take your corkscrew and squeeze. Now, listen here, you're gonna open the left leg, keep the right leg in. We're gonna do pails and rails here. So we're gonna sit and push that hip capsule into internal rotation. So I want this to be a high enough of a tension that we're getting stretch, but not so high that you're cramping into it and, and not able to relax. So we're gonna channel our breath here. We're gonna do five slow chest inhales during our stretch. So I'm gonna push down. Okay, I'm gonna keep my foot flex. It's gonna help protect the knee. I'm gonna take an inhale through the chest. Exhale, try and soften the nerves, relax. Good, we're gonna do four more. Take the inhale. Exhale, two. With each exhale, you might find that you get a little deeper. Inhale, feel that chest fill. Exhale, good. Inhale. Exhale, we've got two more. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Inhale. And exhale. And we're gonna head into pails and rails now. So pails. I'm gonna try and push my knee out back into this corkscrew position. My hand is going to stop that from happening. So I'm gonna push that hand down. Imagine this hand weighs a thousand pounds. We can't move it. I'm gonna drive up in and then after my 10 seconds of effort, I'm gonna then try and squeeze off the hand and go deeper into internal rotation. Here we go. Take your breath, start pushing up at 50% intensity. 50% of radiation driving up into the hand. Keep climbing, 70%, 80%. Again, the knee should not have moved, but tension should be building. 90%, hard to talk, short breaths, and max effort, give me everything you got pushing up into that supporting hand, 10. Nine, harder, eight, seven, get to that edge without pain, five, four, Three, lock in. Two, you're gonna squeeze into rails. One, and rails pulling down. It should barely move because we're at that end range. Driving down. 10, nine, whoo, eight, seven, squeeze a little more. Six, five, feeling it all underneath that butt cheek. Three, two, one, and open it up. Wow, that is intense. Awesome, y'all. Good internal rotation. We're now gonna go to the other leg, left side or the opposite for you. Flex the foot, corkscrew into the bottom of that position, take the left hand, push it. Again, we're gonna take five deep breaths through the chest. Start with an inhale. One, good, and this hip's tighter for me. I can feel it, it's already wanting to cramp up, so I'm gonna back out of that end range just for a moment. We're gonna keep breathing. Two, we've got five, inhale. Three. 
four, five, and here we go. We're gonna go into pails. Start driving up at 50%, start driving. Good, pushing up into that hand. Remember, a thousand pounds, you can't move it. 60, 70, keep climbing. Abs are engaged, 80. Getting hard to talk, short breaths, 90. And max effort, give me what you got for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, give me more, three, give me more, two, and one, rail squeeze down. It should barely move, if at all, to the ground. 10, nine, eight, come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open it up. Wow, all right. We're now gonna head straight into butterfly. So you're gonna stay here. We're gonna do an isometric movement path, which is just a very controlled, slow movement. Okay, so I'm gonna start wide. I'm gonna lift right leg up high as I can, and I'm gonna bring the foot right to the groin, slowly set it down. Good, left leg lifts, high as you can, bring it in, slowly set it down. We are gonna do five of these, okay? I'm gonna do one at a time, right leg lifts. Open out as wide as you can, right to that bear sit, set it down. Left leg lifts, brace the core, slowly open up like you're in slow-mo. Set it down, good, that's one, we got five. Brace the core, proud chest, strong in the hands behind you. Lift straight up, slowly move it in, all the way into the groin, set it down, good. Left leg lifts, high as you can get it, pulling in sole to sole, rest, beautiful. Let's keep it rolling. Brace the core, we're at about 70% here. Lifting up, core engaged, open out wide, Good, left leg lifts, proud chest, make sure we're breathing, and set it down, two, awesome, let's keep it rolling, hover, bring it in, left leg hover, bring it in, beautiful, we're on the back side of three, hover, open out, hover, open out, we've got two, here we go, higher, slower, Pulling in, setting down like a feather. Lifting out, high as you can get it. Wide knees, slowly setting it down. Beautiful, we're on the back half of four, let's go. Hover, we're almost there, y'all. Stay with me, open out, set it down. Hover, open out, set it down. Last one, let's get it. We're stopping halfway, we hover, bring it in. Slowest, you can set it down, hover, bring it in, and rest. Whoo, all right. Now we are set up perfectly into what we call butterfly. So this is a butterfly based position. Here are my wings, I'm gonna fly away. Okay, just kidding. So in a hip external rotation position, so my, my femurs are rotated away from midline, so that's what makes external, it's the opposite of what we just did in bear set. Now, you can be up on one block, you can be on two blocks, or you can be straight on the ground. It just depends on what feels best for your hips. So feel free to play with the different base positions and see what you like. I know I like one block, I've, I've done this a lot, and, and this is where I'm comfortable and what I like. Okay, so we're now gonna take our five deep breaths, in this position. So what we're gonna work is trying to get the outside of the knee straight to the ground, okay? So we're gonna push down now. If you're super flexible and you can drive the knees straight to the ground with no effort, you can put a block underneath your feet. So you can elevate the feet, which will allow some more range. So if you are a special case and need that, go ahead and take it. We're gonna do five breaths here. So we just kind of grab the shins, lean forward and push the elbows into the thighs. We're gonna start with that chest breath. We're gonna do five, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. Keep breathing. I'm just gonna talk about a couple things. You can push down as hard as you want. You can also use additional weights if you wanted to, to push down on the knees for future times or right now. And then your back is welcome to round as much or as little as you want it. The more rounding, the less intense. The less rounding, the more intense. 
One more round of breath. Perfect. And we're going to go into pails and rails. So pails, we're going to try and clamp the legs together or the wings together. And then rails, we're going to drive down to the ground as much as we can. So we grab the shins. Our forearms now are the things that weigh 1,000 pounds. So they do not move. I'm going to slowly start ramping up. We're going to go 50% and pause. Check in with your groin. I can already feel mine. It's a little tight. So I might not go all the way 100%. I'm going to listen to that area and do what that maximum of the tissue is. So maybe it's about 80% today for me. I've got the elbows in. I'm going to start clamping. Good. 60. Keep climbing. 70. We're going to keep going. 80. 90. See if you can pull that chest a little straighter and a little more forward. Max effort. Clamp those wings for 10. Nine, give me more. Eight, seven, good. Six, give me more. Five, come on. Four, three, grab those shins. Two, one, and drive the knees down as much as you can. Squeeze it for 10. Nine, eight, good job. Seven, come on, stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. Okay. We're gonna move positions now. We will not do an isometric movement path. We're just gonna move on over. This is now gonna be a capsule car of hip internal rotation from a new position. So I'll show you from both sides. I'm gonna lay on my side and I'm gonna put a block between my knees like this, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top leg, I'm gonna lay all the way down and I'm gonna corkscrew up like this, okay? So this is gonna be the rotation. I'm gonna also show you from this side. So I'm on the ground, my hips at about 30 to 45 degrees of bend. You can actually play with how much is in the hip. And then I'm gonna squeeze up into that internal rotation. You should feel it on the outside of the glute, kind of like that glute medial side butt area, okay? So I'm gonna take it kind of at a 45 degree here. So I'm in this position. We've got 10 reps we're gonna take, okay? So we're gonna lift nice and slow, abs are engaged. We're gonna be about 60% intensity here. It's gonna be a long 10 reps, okay? We're gonna move up nice and slow. We're gonna hold at the top for three seconds. Pulling, try and keep the hip stacked. Get to that top, it's gonna feel really tight. Three, two, one, and parachute down, meaning go slow. Good, bring it back up, squeeze up into it. Three, two, one, and bring it back down. Now, if you're wanting more intensity, you could add an ankle weight, one to 10 pounds, or just squeeze harder into the end range. Pulling up, I'm here, I think I can get a little more. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Bring it back down, that's three. Continuing on, open up, get to that end, squeeze a little more, four. Beautiful, bring it up, squeeze, five. Good, let's keep it rolling. Squeeze, six, stay with me. We've got four, open out. See if you can get one centimeter higher. Seven, beautiful. Keep it rolling, open up. Eight, almost there, two more. Nine, here it is, last rep. And hold it for 10. Pulling up, 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, six, pull more, five, four, three, two, and parachute down. Beautiful. We're gonna spin around, do the other side. Here we go. It's gonna be our last effort of this 30 minute class. So we've got that block right between the knees. Here we go. We've got a good support, abs are engaged. Three seconds a rep, pivot on the block. Here we are. Squeeze the block, open up, get into that top position, squeeze a little more, three, two, one, and parachute it down, that's one. Really working on that slow, controlled end range, getting up to the top, squeeze a little more, try not to let the pelvis rock, they're stacked. Three, two, one, and two, parachute down, bring it up. Three, two, one, and three. Parachute down. Bring it up. Three, two, one, and four. 
Nice and slow down using that parachute. Still 60 to 70%. If you want to go a little harder, you're welcome to get it on that top end range. Squeezing up. Shoot, I lost count. I want to say that's six. We're rolling with that being six. Bringing it down. Taking a breath when you need it. Bring it up. Squeeze a little more. Try and get half a centimeter to a whole centimeter higher. Beautiful. Seven. Three more. Bringing it up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight. Keep it rolling. Get up there, get up there, nine. One last rep, it's 10 seconds here, bring it up. Squeeze it, squeeze it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five more, four, three, two, one, and slowly parachute it down. Beautiful. Awesome, y'all. Whew, so that was our 30 minute hip rotation class. So mini series there. If you have any requests or if you'd like to see something specific, I am always taking suggestions. So please let me know what you wanna see more of. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in y'all. Let me know what you like to class and I'll see you soon. Ciao.